Yo, what's going on guys? It's Cynical, and today for you guys, I'm bringing you a Kingdom Hearts 2.8 discussion video. Today, we're going to be talking about a pretty damn cool scene that we saw towards the end of the most recent Kingdom Hearts 2.8 trailer. And of course, it is the momentous scene when we finally get to see Sora. That is absolutely just so exciting. As you guys should probably know, I absolutely freaked out when I saw Sora, and I'm sure most of you guys did as well. So in case you guys don't know, the English English version of that trailer is now out, which of course means that we actually have the English dialogue for that exact scene. So I'm gonna roll it right now. You were gone a long time. What were you doing? <laughs> Secret. I'm back! So as you guys can see, Goofy actually mentioned that Sora's been away for quite some time and he was wanting to know exactly where Sora was and what he was doing. In response, Sora said it's a secret and then opens the door to say I'm back. So exactly what is this secret that Sora is talking about? Now, obviously we don't actually know what he's talking about when he refers to the secret, but there's a lot of evidence pointing towards what Sora was perhaps doing between the end of Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance and to the point of this cutscene right here. So let's actually go Go ahead and analyze what has actually happened. So first things first, at the end of Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance, Sora actually mentions that he's going away for a while by himself. And shortly after that scene, we see Sora in Traverse Town hanging out with his Dream Eater buddies. The other interesting thing is, if you guys remember the very first Kingdom Hearts 3 trailer we received, we see a scene of Sora standing on the beach of Destiny Islands in his Kingdom Hearts 2 attire, and of course he finds the Master's defender lying on the beach. Another puzzle piece to add to the picture is also in the opening cinematic for 0.2 Birth by Sleep. Towards the end of that cinematic, we see Aqua under the water and Sora's hand reaching through the water to of course grab Aqua. So we can put a lot of things together. First things first, Sora returned to Travis Town to see his Dream Eater buddies. We then see Sora on Destiny Islands picking up the Master's Defender. And lastly, we see Sora's hand going through the water to of course reach out for Aqua. It would definitely appear as if Sora's quest after Dream Drop Distance was to save Aqua, but exactly how he knows about Aqua and exactly where she is, that's the missing link. I'm sure in Kingdom Hearts 0.2 Birth by Sleep this will get explained, if not at the start of Kingdom Hearts 3, because of the fact that the cutscene where we see Sora running up the stairs to announce that he's back will most likely be the very end of Kingdom Hearts 0.2 Birth by Sleep, which means it's then the start of Kingdom Kingdom Hearts 3. We do know that in Kingdom Hearts 0.2 Birth by Sleep, Aqua will be saved, and currently as of right now, it definitely seems like Sora is the one that is going to save her. What we do know is, at the end of Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep Final Mix, when playing the secret episode right at the end, we see a cutscene with Aqua and Diz, and they are in the dark margin. Now, Diz is actually explaining to Aqua who exactly Sora is. In case you guys don't know, that cutscene takes place after the end event of 0.2 Birth by Sleep, so that is actually the furthest point in Aqua's journey throughout the Realm of Darkness. So we can presume by the end of 0.2 Birth by Sleep in the Realm of Darkness, Aqua does know who Sora is. So perhaps maybe in the meantime, Sora has found out exactly who Aqua is and where exactly she is. It's very possible that Aqua might have actually washed up ashore on the beach of Destiny Islands with the Master's Defender that she's been using in the Realm of Darkness washing up on shore first, with then of course Sora picking up the Keyblade wondering where it's from and whose it is, and then shortly afterwards sees Aqua in the ocean and pulls her out. As of right now, this is only a theory and of course speculation. Of course, when the game actually releases, we will get more information and we will be more knowledgeable on the actual subject itself. So I don't want to claim that this is exactly what Sora's secret is. There's most likely more to it. But however, guys, I thought I'd talk about it because it is fairly what interesting. What do you guys think? What do you think Sora's been up to in the space between Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance and of course towards the start of Kingdom Hearts 3? Where exactly do you think he went and what he got up to? Let me know in the comment section down below, and until next time guys, I'll catch you later. Peace.